Guangzhou, China, the main business hub. Well, some might agree, this city is full of endless opportunities, especially in the business world. So today, we go in search of one Sierra Leonean entrepreneur, Zulu Madingo. Hey, okay, okay. Stasha baby. Stasha, baby. It's Jewies on the beat. Hey, where I'm from? I put on. I get that money, hit the city, then I'm gone. Hey, we legit. We hella lit. Represent, represent who you with. Hey, where I'm from? I put on. I get that money, hit the city, then I'm gone. Hey, we legit. We hella lit. Represent, represent who you with. Welcome, sir. Yeah, it's so are you, man. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. I'm How are you doing? Quiet, man. Yeah, right, sir. Welcome, guys. Seat. Yeah. I'm glad you forget you in the show today. Okay. For, um, we were not to say a to them. Mm-hmm. Well, we get uh, one with Ambulia, but we will continue this in English. Yeah. So, that's why you guys able to trace me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we English. actually just had to. <laughs> very busy man to find. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Yes. Um, can you give me a brief introduction of yourself? Okay. Um, I'm Mohamed Lamin Yafa. Yes. The CEO and founder of Zulu Madingo Company, okay. yeah. Sierra Leone. Wonderful, wonderful. It's great to have a Sierra Leonean on board doing great things. Yeah, thank so, you. So, when did you come to China? Well, 2014, 2015. Ah, that time. Yeah. Oh, so you I actually enjoyed the, you know, the stay. stay here. With a lot of experiences. Exactly. We know it's not easy like to adapt yeah. in another person's culture. Exactly. It's difficult, but we went through it. Yes. There are some hiccups and challenges that you face. Right. But as a strong people, you know, Silenians, we are very strong. So Exactly. So exactly. we can endure. We have bubble pain. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so, what do you do here in China? Presently, I study. Okay. I'm reading trade and economics. Wonderful. Then also, I'm pursuing my business here as a businessman also. Okay. Great. Mm-hmm. What businesses are you into? Well, it's a general service and trading company, but also our major business is clothing. We have clothing line. We do like for kids, for man and woman, and also customize sneakers. All right. You know, and presently, as you see now, we are about to release our new national jersey. Okay. That will be used for 2022 Afcom. Afcom. You know, but there are different businesses that we do at the Maringo Company because okay. we have our logistics company, Wonderful. and there are a lot. Yes. You know, quite easily, we just open our new office, number three, Mercy Lane, okay. Client Town, Freetown, and then we have a couple of branches around. Africa, like um, South Africa. Okay. We have Botswana, we have Nigeria, and all those branches, they are registered business, so our company is registered. Oh, okay. And we are still looking up to more cooperation, yes. more expansion again, and all try right. to see how we can involve another African countries and all that stuff. Into well. it. So, what, because I can see now you've already, you know, like you guys are a well established um, business company already. Yeah. Zulu Madingo, as he's commonly known, he has many different businesses that he runs. Well, some might even call him the jack of all trades. So, it's nice, you know, to have someone as regarded as a youth, a young man, mm-hmm. and having established this uh, empire, if I should use the yeah. word. Um, what hiccups have you had what issues do you have and if so which you know like what have you really experienced in this business there's a challenge in one finances finance is one of the challenges and then two like for our people back home yeah silunians a few silunians that are supportive to our businesses of course, yes. and a lot of silunians are not supportive because i don't know yeah. whether they don't trust silunians in doing business like especially the initiatives but i want to send a message to them how they are that Siluna, Siluna have a lot of youths that yes. are talented all we just need we just need our people support for them to try to see how they can support, support us because us, yeah. without their support we cannot do nothing quite recently let me just give you something I'm working on an online market store just like how we have the Alibaba and the Amazon, yeah. right? It's a popular online store already started in Sierra Leone, okay. which is called the African First Choice Continental Market. Oh, wonderful. African First Choice Continental Market, our major focus is to try to promote our Africa local content yeah. back home, especially like made in Africa or made in Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone like yes. that and all. But primary 
usually we focus on Silon content because yeah. like it's, it's my country and we are trying to see how I can encourage exactly. young youth to trade in our platform. Exactly. You know, because like for African fashion continental market, it's here to stay and ease the burden of a lot of people out there. Mm-hmm. So we cater for whole classes of people and yeah. very soon this website will be launched. Yeah. So like I'm encouraging Silon to try this one because just like if you are supporting Alibaba, it's not a magic. Exactly. They started yes. like they started like us. Little you know, by little. But if we as a Silonia we are not supportive to each other, then at the end of the day, I don't think we the Silonians will be proud to say, Oh, this is made in Silonia. Sure, this thing is yes. invented from Silonia. Exactly. So if you are out there, you're watching this program and encouraging you now to to brace up, especially youth, yeah. just try and see how you can able to focus on what you are doing. Yes. Because to start a journey is not easy, especially when it comes to finances. And uh, a thing again, I want people to know let them follow our pages mm-hmm. Zulumadingo underscore official on okay. Instagram, okay. on Facebook, okay. Zulumadingo ZM Zulumadingo. So on all um, platforms, platforms, social media platforms, yes. Yeah. Okay. And then um, another thing I'm trying to inform our people like, um, we are coming with our handout that teaches okay. young people about 50 great initiative ideas how to start a business, even without finances. That's amazing. You understand? That's amazing. With these 50 great ideas, you can start business even at home. Because, like previously, even on my Facebook page, Mm-hmm. I normally go live like to try to talk to youth because yes. you know we have a lot of graduates out there they are waiting for government to Jobs. give them money to start this kind Something, of business yes. no I want to say no to them you don't need yeah. to wait just try to see how best you can able to turn or naturalize the talent that God gives to you yes and try to see how you can able to do something. Something. And I'm I'm also appealing to our government to try to see to focus on we young entrepreneurs because for me I personally there's a lot of craft that I learned. Yeah. You understand? As I'm telling you, I can do a whole interior decor. Yes, apart from the clothing. Clothing, okay. You understand? And I'm also encouraging Silunians that want to come into different things or art yes, and craft. Yes. Let them all try to focus on what they want to do because exactly. at the end of the day, if you focus on what you want to do, the sky will be your limit. limit yes. Don't be discouraged because when I started this journey, it was not easy for me. I have a lot of discouraging what I cannot make it. You cannot able to go through the challenges. <laughs> but I want them to understand that challenges is part of your life. It's exactly. part of our daily lives. Yes. You understand? Without challenges, come on, man, you cannot make it. And it's not been easy. <laughs> of course, it makes you stronger. It's course. not been easy. It's not been easy. You yeah. know? Zulu Madingo is also an artist. He does his own work with the help of his team, and this has boosted his craftsmanship in several areas. So yeah. one thing I took note of what you were saying is um, the you know the initiative to teach young people you know yeah. bringing out this um, pamphlet or this uh, fifty ideas, ideas, yeah, ideas because yeah. that's one thing we haven't as Africans or Sierra Leoneans to yeah. be particular. Yeah. We don't do. Mm-hmm. We rather give. Um, you know, a bit of financial aid yeah. rather than wisdom or ideas. Yeah. But these ideas would build the country because if you can share your wisdom, your idea to mm-hmm. a young man or to a youth or few fellow, you know, young men or we- and women, mm-hmm. like we help each other to build. Yeah. So like that's one of, you know, a great thing that you're doing mm-hmm. and I honestly appreciate and commend you for that. Yeah, that's a good one. That's one. And I know throughout your own experience in this field, I have seen you're a man of many, you know, um, jack of all trades, yeah. if I would say. Yes. And it's great for us to have you mm-hmm. as someone that we can look up to and say, mm-hmm. okay, this person is our elder in the youth community, but mm-hmm. we do see him and he's, you know, setting this precedent for mm-hmm. us. Yeah. So what do you have on the market right now as on display? Because I can see you're dressed in yeah, a full attire. Yeah, so the, oh, it's customized. Yeah, it's customized by me. Okay. And also, this is my, one of my jogger pants. You're a man who knows what yeah. he wants to wear, I can <laughs> <Exactly>. see. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, another thing I just want you to know about, because there's a lot of projects that I'm coming up with. Okay. Because, like, um, one of the things that Silonians don't, they fail to understand that yes. when you start a business, yeah. you know, there's a thing I, I, I learned when I follow prominent business people, a successful businessman. Yes. I learned that business diversification, it means a lot. Oh, that's okay. And uh, a lot of Silonians don't want to take their challenges, like yes. to go into business, into, different yes. business. They'll just prefer, for example, if I'm selling water, yep. it's only the water, water whether I make profit or not. Oh. I'm here today, I'm telling you guys now, now listen, like business diversification, like for example, you can start with one business, then you end up with 19 businesses. Yes. There is a time I met with one investors, mm-hmm. a big investors in China here. Mm-hmm. We discussed, I asked the man, what, uh, what are some of his success stories? 
you know, you explained to me, like, when I started the business, I started with only one business. Now I have 19 successful businesses. Oh, wow. You know, so you might looking at it as if it's a lot of expenses. Yes, it's a lot of expenses. But if you don't take the challenges, yes. sometimes you try one business, you fail. You try another, you fail. Yes. You understand? But with this man, when I, when I, when, when he shared with me his Things experience are, yeah, that yeah. he got, how he becomes successful, I learned. Out of the 19 businesses that he started, mm. he has five successful big business. That yes. are giving him a lot of money. Yes. So that's why, like, sometimes when you tell people who oh, study this, oh no, I cannot do this, I cannot do this. Yes, you can. Yeah. For me, I have clothing line. Yep. I do business for furniture, yes. electrical, building materials. You understand? And now there is a big project that I'm coming up with that will benefit the 16 districts okay. with agriculture. agriculture. Very soon we will launch the project in Freetown. Okay. So if you are out there, just wait for the new program coming up by yes. the Zulu Madingo company. It's a big company yes. that we are about to launch. So I'm encouraging guys out there yes. as a youth, especially I'm talking to the youth. Yes. And we are appealing to our government okay. for letting them try to see how exactly. they can able to unify and bring potential youth with good ideas, ideas. to try to see how we can invest in our our country oh, yes. and also if you're in diaspora you have your money you think you want to invest in mm -hmm. i think you better come home and see so what would you advise you know people use like what advices do you have okay for anyone one of my major advices or one of my major messages uh, my messages i'm sending out to our people yeah one thing for us we need to be unified as a nation yes a divided nation cannot stand. Exactly. And these are some of the major problems that we are facing presently in our country, country. because Sahelon has been divided by political parties. Mm -hmm. But we the people allow that to happen because as a country that wants to progress together, the thing that will make a country progress together is when we are united. United, yes. But if we are not united, come on, then, we cannot able to do anything better. And my advice is for you to stay away from politics. Yes. Let them focus on what they focus on try to see how they can develop themselves. Exactly. You know, it's it's high time for Sahelians, especially with the youth, to focus on what we want to achieve at the end. Mm -hmm. Because all those people you see that they are progressing, they, yeah. they started like us. It's not a magic. So if you are how they are, you are youth, we say no to drugs. Yes. You understand? Focus on what you want to do. You understand? There is no need for you to be going outside or doing bad things involving I mean, violence. Yeah. Because that's another attitude when we say no to them. So, but I want them to understand that. My advice to you, stay focused. You need to focus on what you are doing. Yeah. Think positively. Try to see how best you can able to make yourself useful in the society. Yeah. Yes. Because at the end of the day, if you if you don't make yourself, because you add value to yourself, nobody mm -hmm. will add value mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. If you are a trader, if you are a carpentry, whatever walks of life you are engaging, you into. just make sure you take that thing very seriously. Then at the end of the day, you have a success story. Yes. It's not about magic. Facts. You understand? We say yeah. no to violence. We say start of violence. Mm -hmm. We pray for one unified Sahel yes. because they say united we stand divided before, before. And we don't need that to happen in our nation. Wonderful. You know. Wonderful. Um, like he said, united we stand divided before. One nation, one Sierra Leone. We want to thank you very much for gracing this with your presence. And last but before we leave, mm -hmm. um, if you can just, you know, give once again your social media, your contacts, because, you know, people might want to contact you and say, okay, hey, I would need an advice. Say, mm -hmm. we have a business, this, like okay. people who want to contact okay. you. Okay, just like what I've just said, quite recently, we just opened our office, number three, Messelin, yeah. Freetown, Klein Town. Okay. You can contact us, plus 861-8664-8555-03, yeah. or follow us on our Instagram, Zulu Madingo underscore official, All Facebook, right. Zulu Madingo, ZM Zulu Madingo, yeah. on all social media handlings. All right. Right. Yeah. So as so you heard it on all social media handlings, Zulu Madingo official on Facebook and Zulu, Zulu Madingo ZM on the rest. So thank you. Make sure you go follow him. Make sure you contact him uh, for any business or anything you want in China or anything because he's a yeah. devil. He's very diversified. So we want to thank you once more and. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Finally, we caught you. Of course, of course, of yeah. course, of course. Man around town. <laughs> yes, you know. Okay. Yeah. So that's it for today. Say peace. Peace. God bless you, man. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, mama, come in. Lily. Oh. It's bash on the beat. Tonya, Tonya. 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 Tonya.